Fantasy Football Monthly brings you strategy, analysis and in-depth discussion on all things Fantasy Premier League. Featuring some of the best managers in the FPL community, including Jay Eggersdorf, The General and FPL Fly, to name just a few. The Digital Magazine returns on the 17th of January, with 12-month subscriptions now available at the price of just £20, offering you two months free. Take advantage of this offer by clicking the link in the description box below. The Q&A series returns for Game Week 22, where as usual we'll be taking a look at the FPL community questions sent in via Twitter. FPL11 asks, is Martial worth keeping? Paul Pogba and Marcus Rashford have been in scintillating form under Solskjaer, so it's understandable that managers are lucky to move on from Anthony Martial. Over the last four game weeks, the informed duo have returned eight and five FPL goal involvements respectively, while the left winger has returned just one goal and one assist. Martial has however played one fewer game, which he reportedly missed due to illness, and still his total of 8 attempted assists in this period can only be bettered by Pogba's 10 amongst teammates. After his rest against Reading in the FA Cup, the 23-year-old looks likely to keep his starting place against Spurs this weekend, and with 8 goals and 2 assists across his last 10 league starts, there's still reason to keep the faith for those who don't have an easy route to upgrade to Pogba. Roger asks, Sterling or Salah for the next 5 fixtures? If you were looking to bring in one of these two, currently owning neither, Salah would surely have to be considered as favourite, after returning double-figure hauls in three of his last four outings, contributing to six goals in that time, compared to Sterling's two goal involvements. The Reds have a fairly kind schedule for the remainder of the season, facing just one top six side in their next ten matches, while Crystal Palace, Leicester and Bournemouth travel to Anfield in the next five game weeks. However, if you already own Sterling, and are considering selling him to accommodate Salah, that's a tougher decision, and whether that's worthwhile will largely depend on who your captain options are over the next five game weeks, and what sacrifices you'd need to make to free up the extra cash. Paxu asks, Ricardo Pereira for Alonso or Laporte? Only four defenders have recorded more FPL points than Ricardo Pereira this season, and his six FPL goal involvements can only be bettered by Doherty, Holabas and Alonso. Seven efforts on target by the Leicester man ranks joint fifth amongst defenders, behind only Maguire, Duffy, Van Arnholt and Doherty. Leicester have kept a tally of seven clean sheets this season, sixth best in the league, while only Chelsea, Liverpool and Man City have allowed opponents fewer efforts on target than the Foxes. With just three matches against top six sides between now and game week 35 for Leicester, Pereira could be a strong pick in the long term for those looking to make a downgrade in defence to free up cash. Krishna asks, best option for Son? Hyung Min Son has been in fine form recently, but he's set to leave for the Asian Cup after the meeting with Man United in game week 22, and could miss up to three league matches, depending on how far South Korea go in the tournament. If you're looking for a like for like replacement, Christian Eriksen could be the midfielder to jump onto. No Spurs player has provided more than his 32 attempted at assists this season, beating Trippier with 24 and Kane with 20 while only Son has matched his total of 7 assists. Amongst midfielders, only Salah with 8 and Fraser, Sané, Sterling and Hazard with 9 have registered more assists this season. Or alternatively, Pogba and Richarlison remain strong midfield options below the premium price bracket. Dauphin asks, what do you think about Ashley Barnes? Barnes has forced his way back into Burnley's starting lineup returning two goals and one assist in the last four game weeks to score a respectable average of five points per game. No FPL forward has been involved in as many as his six big chances during that period, while only Rashford and Mitrovic have taken more than his eight efforts on target. Two big chances created by the 29-year-old puts him joint top amongst forwards, alongside Kane and Rashford. Priced at 5.6 million, the budget striker could perhaps be one to consider as a like-for-like -like swap for the injured Danny Ings with Fulham and Southampton the next two sides to visit Turf Moor. And the final question for this episode comes from Chrissy, who asks, when are you using the wildcard? Traditionally, it's often worked out well to save the second wildcard for the period of double game weeks towards the end of the season, allowing you to easily get your squad in shape and take advantage of the revised fixture schedule. 
Another advantage of using the wildcard across that period is that it can complement the other chips and allow you to make drastic changes to your squad with the right plan to give you a nice boost in overall rank to finish the season off strong. However, there's always many ways to play the game and if you feel your squad will really benefit from using the wildcard now, you can always look at an alternative approach to navigating the double game weeks later on.